Hi everyone! Today I just decided to give you like an update on my progress and I'm finally done with like part one of my, my indexing like kind of website thing. So I will just want to get into it and show you now and I hope you're having a wonderful day no matter where you are or your situation. Hi everyone! I'm back. So I realized that I forgot to tell you like what kind of project I'm making. So basically, like, my big goal of really this whole YouTube channel, in addition to, like, just edu educating people on how to use, like, different types of, like, softwares and programs using JavaScript, HTML, CSS, you, you know, you get the gist. I'm really interested in party planning and, like, helping people just make party planning easier, which is really d the reason why I decided to build this web app. So really the first step that we're going to do is just, like, to collect the user's name like the day of their event. I know this might seem minuscule like for, for the big scheme of things, but like it's just like those little details that honestly makes the user feel cared about. And especially, and also having the, just like the event date and time also helps later down the road. I have not coded that yet, but it is later down the road. Okay, so I'm gonna enter my name and then fake last name. Got my last name. Then just like a day of an event, what's today's date? August 31st, 2022. Let's do like 6 P P. So then when I press this, the submit button, it already has this one here, but I'm going to just delete that. Well, I have deleted the wrong thing. We're gonna submit. The table isn't quite working, but you'll just see like when everything, when like I reload, you, you get to see like it being normal. See, that's something that I still actually kind of need to work on. But either way, that's fine. It'll work. Then the thing I really loved is that the transition and then it just says like hello and it selects like from the index which is something I wasn't able to do before and then it says like hey was your event like what would you like to make for your success so it has like these two buttons and I'm going to be coding that later but that's kind of where I've gone so far and let me go into the code that I'm really proud of okay I lied before I go into that I just want to show you like my console um, so when I go to applications, because I made an index.db file, it selects from the index, which is like, as you can see, like the first name, last name, you know, whatever. And then like the timestamp is the ID. So kind of all the code that really enabled this, like all to happen is like, I just made this function called variable name date store because it saves what the user's name and the date of the event I know crazy and then it saves that and the part that I guess I said I was done I'm not really done the part that I really need to work on is like this table element when I do render because it's like printing it like multiple multiple times so I'm gonna have to switch that around so that's kind of like where I need to work on so kind of with everything it's all a process so yeah that's where I am Hi again! I just wanted to thank you all. I know there's like some prep stuff I need to work on, especially with this table, but for keeping me consistent as I post and like can continue to get better at coding. So yeah, thank you guys. See you later. Bye!